is beyond you. 99 folds more than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His love for His servant is such that every morning, you know, every day when the servant walks on the earth and he sins and disobeys Allah, the earth says to Allah, Ya Allah, how dare this six foot tall man have the audacity to disobey you? Nothing in the sky and the earth disobeys Allah. How can this person disobey you? Ya Allah, give me permission, I will swallow him. The sky says, Ya Allah, how dare this person disobey you? Give me permission, I will strike him with a bolt of lightning and we will perish him. The sea says, Ya Allah, how dare this person disobey you? Everyone obeys Allah. Give us permission, we will drown him. And the earth begins to continues to complain to Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He's not your creation, He's my creation. Maybe He's distracted, but He will come back to me one day. And when He comes back to me, I will be waiting for Him right here. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah is waiting for you. And if you advance towards Allah, be shibrin, a hand span, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will advance towards you an arm's length. And if you go to Allah walking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to you running because Allah is waiting for you just as the mother is waiting at her doorstep after having an argument with her son, waiting for her son to come back. She's just waiting by the doorstep, when will my son come? When will my son come? And finally, when she sets eyes on her son across the street, the mother runs to her child. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is waiting. You know, sometimes when a mother and a child get into an argument or a parent and a child get into an argument, the parent has to hold their stance because if they water down each time, the child will never develop. You guys understand, you guys understand that? If your child does something, for example, <clears throat> if my son is in front of me and he does something that he deserves punishment for, at the time of I will shout at him, scream at him, I will punish him, but then as soon as he leaves the room, I'll turn to my wife and say, I love that kid so much. I'll never say it in front of him. The reason is because if I say it in front of him, that will be a barrier for his development. He needs to see that firmness. And similarly, similarly Allah's love for His servant. In the night when the servants go to sleep, the hadith mentions Allah descends to the first sky and says, anyone of you want forgiveness tonight? Is there anyone here who wants food? Anyone here want clothing? Is there anyone you're sleeping? Come on, wake up, wake up. Wake up and ask me and I will give to you.